To set the stage, I have set up a workflow containing a user task with the actions of approve and reject. For the recipients of this user task assignment, I've wired up a legal group in my Office 365 environment that consists of the five user accounts shown here. I've already configured a form and a custom email notification for this lesson, so to save time, let's move on to the Tasks Results Voting Rule Configuration tab to set up our voting scenario. To designate that we only need two approval responses from the group, select Custom, then select the Edit Voting Rule button where the Voting Rule canvas should appear. Make a note. Be aware that it is possible to put your workflow in an infinite wait state if you misconfigure your voting rules, so be cautious whenever you're working in this designer. Let's edit the rule by first changing if every response to the option number of responses, then set the value to the number 2. Next, on the middle line for the then statement, Select the Approved Path option from the dropdown. This is saying if two of the user responses equal Approve, then at that point in time, follow the Approved Path out of the user task. Keep in mind, this rule will fire each time a user completes their task assignment, so we don't want to accidentally set the rule to follow the rejected path after the first approval comes in, because it isn't going to satisfy the first part of the if statement. Remembering we need two approvals before that can happen, we need to add another if then block because it will need to follow the else path after the first approval. You can drag and drop another if then block statement up to the else block from the toolbox or click on the if then block icon in the desired section to create a new block faster. From here, we can set up the evaluation for the reject action by clicking on the responses icon, change it to number of responses, and enter the number one. Moving on, change the approve response to reject, then going down to the next, then block, select the outcome icon and change it to follow the rejected outcome path. If the reject path cannot be followed yet, we will need to set the else outcome to wait for responses, mainly because the first response was approve and not reject, so we will need to wait for another approve response to move on. Keep in mind the second response could also be reject, therefore it would resolve to the reject path. Finally, because I'm using the Office 365 legal group to receive this task and I need more than one response, I need to open the Options section and put a check in Resolve Groups to Individuals. This will create individual K2 task assignments for each member of the legal group. In my example, it would be five separate tasks. To sum this up, when this user task fires off in the workflow, it will assign individual user tasks to every member of the legal group. K2 will wait for these individuals to respond to their tasks, evaluate the voting rule upon each response, then follow the response outcome path when the rule conditions are satisfied with the appropriate number of approve or reject responses. You can consult the user guide for more detailed information on this topic as it relates to configuring custom voting rules within the user task step.